So, guys, I'd like to introduce myself today. Many of you guys know me. My name is Emily Gunter. I really appreciate your help today with helping with my EMS instructor methodology class. Um, so today, we got to do a 15-minute lecture series type deal on, I chose mine on the trouble of sustainability with raising chickens and trying to deter their predators. Uh, I chose to pick this topic because recently my 18-month-old daughter's chicken flock went from 15 beautiful birds to 8. So, we became very well versed very, very quickly in how to deter some predators because you will never understand heartbreak until you watch your kid cry um, when her favorite chicken is no longer alive. So, has anybody ever raised chickens? You've raised chickens, you've raised chickens, okay. So, this will be interactive. The more interactive, the better. The quicker it will make it go. Um, this is my first time ever. Um, I grew up working on many farms, mainly dairy and horse farms, and I was never allowed to have chickens. So, I deemed when we bought this our first house in the country and we had space and I had more time, we were going to do it. So, we did it, and I thought we did it well. But, we did not. I'm going to check this thing periodically, just to make sure it's still recording. Um, Alright, so, um, I found this quote and I thought it was uh, pretty purposeful for this lecture. The farmer has to be an optimist or he, will, he wouldn't still be a farmer. So, um, I, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them. Um, I'll be going over some stuff. If I talk too quickly or anything like that, just stop me, slow me down, and we'll go back over it. Okay, so, first thing we're going to cover is the lesson objectives. Uh, we're going to discuss the predators of chickens. There's more than I ever thought there was. Um, we're going to talk about coop designs to keep chickens safe. Again, thought I knew everything. Um, and we're going to discuss other guard options to ensure maximum chicken safety. Okay. Other, than making, other than building Alcatraz for chickens, we are going to work to see what kind of other guards we can, we can put in place. So... <laughs> So the predators. Um, a lot, many predators are active both day and night. Um, we found our little predator that we had, and he or she likes to come out whenever. She's quite bold. So uh, dogs, obviously, is one of the first ones. Um, they can be guards for your coop flock, but they can also be predators. Um, coyotes, obviously. They do like to get a snack every now and then. Uh, cats, feral cats, even if you don't have a cat or a barn cat or anything like that, um, they smell of McNugget, they might come, you know, shop. <laughs> so, cats mainly eat the chicks. They don't typically uh, go after the chickens. I guess once they get to a little bit bigger stage, they, uh, they are more afraid of trying to go after them. Um, so, foxes, foxes eat chickens whole. So when I started researching this, I found out that foxes don't even chew the bones. They swallow them whole. So mainly the only thing left you'll see when you have a fox attack your flock is feathers. Because obviously those might get lodged. So you'll see lots of feathers, but you'll see no remnants of chicken. And then a lot of times a fox will kill more than what it can consume. So it will be it will bury it somewhere. So. Um, raccoons, typically they only usually eat the head because they try to drag it out and they get stuck because it's a, you know, the bird gets larger and they usually just pop the head off and eat the head. Um, weasels, they kill for sport. They just leave them dead. They might get some ball in a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Um, skunks will kill chickens, but they're lazy. They just prefer the eggs. Um, they will leave a mess behind, so you will know that possums eat um, our egg robbers, um, and they will are known to eat the chicks. Now possums, when they get in though, they will leave a mushy mess in the nesting area. That is how you'll typically know that you had a possum. Uh, snakes, obviously you're not going to know if you have a snake. They eat the egg whole, they might eat the chick whole. Um, chicken, unless all of a sudden a boa constrictor invades your town, I don't think that you will notice that the, they're eating your, your actual chickens. Um, hawks, 
mainly daylight, and they'll stalk. That's why typically you'll put a cover on your run if you let your chickens out during the day. If not, it's free pickings. Um, hi, Scott. Yeah. Um, bears, uh, we don't have any bears much around here, but usually they'll eat it all, and then they actually, the, the little um, phrase is correct, they will uh, defecate where they eat. So you will know by having bears scout around. Um, and then bobcats, they'll kill anything. They'll eat your eggs, but they will literally, typically try to scratch and cover it up. So if you find a chicken half under, in the dirt, it might have been a bobcat. Um, so these are, these are just a couple of the predators that may affect your, that may affect your flock. Okay. So, coop design for chicken safety. Um, <laughs> uh, I learned this one the hard way. Um, we do have a solid and secure coop, but what I was doing was I was like, well, we'll just let them go and come when they want, so we have a fenced-in run, and then we have a coop that they have access to. So what I was doing was I was just leaving the coop door open all night and into their run and letting them come in and out. They go into their coop at night, but that was how our little friend was getting in. Um, if you can elevate your coop off the ground, ours is not, um, that does help. Make sure there's no holes in the bottom of the floor um, and it's secured with, um, you know, locks and mesh and all that stuff. Hardware cloth is your best friend. Poultry wire or netting, however you want to call it, is, is nice, but it's not great. Um, one and a half to a quarter inch, or a half inch to a quarter inch hardware cloth, which you can buy anywhere, is typically what, what you would truly like to secure any windows in your coop with. Um, you can also bury it. A lot of people trench around their coop and bury hardware cloth about 12 to 18 inches down. Uh, invest in strong locks. Like I said, I have an 18-month-old. So if I give her the lock and she can open it, I need something better. Raccoons can open a lock that a two-year-old can open. They're actually highly intelligent little burglars. So, um, ensure the coop and run have a roof on it. The coop we have does have a roof. Um, the run does not. Uh, that was what we had. one of the things we had to change about it because uh, a couple of my foghorn leghorns had flew the coop and they got run down um, in the yard by some mysterious predator. Uh, motion activated lights, this was actually given, an idea was given to me uh, by Stephanie. There is a brand, it's called Night Guard, um, Night Guard Solars. So these little itty bitty ones, they've got a pretty good um, field of light that they put out at night. Um, that will deter any predators. Lights of any kind in the middle of the night, they don't like to be, to think that anything's there. I've also seen where you can hang. And some of you guys will remember this, some of you guys won't. The, or your old CDs, uh huh, those old mixtapes from former ex boyfriends or girlfriends. Yeah, you can hang those around. And apparently, those will shine light like a, like a disco ball, or um, you can use pine tins too, and that will help deter it. Um, bury your chicken wire. When I had this catastrophe occur, I reached out to, of course, my ever knowing Facebook family and was like, help me, I've just lost seven birds in three days. And uh, one of them was to bury chicken wire like two feet out from where the coop and the run is. And I was like, I'm gonna do a couple other things because it's July and it's hot outside. Um, also, not the best recommendation for if anybody has kids or animals that may try to get in there just to play, but you can electrify the running coop if necessary. Typically, they run boards like a two by so one by six or along the bottom, put some insulators on the outside, and run like a solar powered hot wire around the outside. Um, like I said, by the end of this, you will know how to secure it like Alcatraz. Um, also, keeping your compost piles when you clean out your coop and keeping them away from the actual coop itself will help deter predators as well. Um, some just want to dig through the compost. If it's too close, they might think that they can get another snack or dessert. Um, also, keeping the lawn around wherever your coop and run is, keeping away from high grass, um, not allowing cover for any other predators also helps. Them. Yes, ma'am. Why do you need a compost? Well, like we clean out our coop every 
I do it about every three weeks. Scrape out all the hay and stuff like that and their droppings and scrape out their nesting boxes and stuff like that. And then I, I throw it in the woods and luckily it's like probably about 100 feet from where they're, I'm hoping that's far enough away because that's about the farthest corner of our property that we have. So. But that and then some people do like to compost everything that they, anything organic material that they can biodegrade. So they do do that. Um, any questions about coop safety design? Anybody got any tips, pointers from what you guys did that worked well? Nothing? Okay. All right. So, one thing I didn't tell you is what we did. We went out and put up a game camera. Um, we taken, my husband taken some down from the hunting land that we have and decided that he was going to put them up. And this is, uh, this is our fox in the hen house. Um, really interesting is that he fit in under a gap of the door of the run about that big and he dug a hole about that wide, about maybe four to five inches wide, and slipped under it. So there was like no obvious, so we put tent stakes into the chicken wire that we had run around the side of the coop trying to keep them from pulling it up. And I'll also bury that hardware mesh maybe when it cools down a little bit. We have a very lazy fox though, or he's still eating off the seven chickens that he stole from me already because he has not tried yet to get in, to get back into their actual coop because we actually secure them at night, put them up and shut the door to the run. And we haven't had any problems since. So, all right, so guard options for the flock. Um, let's see what time we have. Oh, sweet. Okay, so believe it or not, Roosters can be your first line of defense. Now, I live within the city limits. I live in one of the last towns that allows uh, livestock in city limits. So, I was nice enough to my neighbors that I didn't get any roosters because I figured they would eventually be complaining. Um, but roosters actually will take the hens, put them somewhere where they feel like they're safe, congregate them, and then the, the rooster will go back to attack whatever the predator is. I don't really know that. Um, I have a friend of mine who has roosters that stand as high as my 18 month old. Um, so I guess if one of those went after something, it would probably be pretty cool. Um, guinea hens. So guinea hens will uh, neutralize a snake, believe it or not. Um, they will also eat any bugs known to man. They will eat anything, ticks, bugs, whatever. They will also cause a huge ruckus when a predator is nearby. Unlike chickens who will just get, get surprised, get eaten, and then all hide for the rest of the day like ours did, the guinea hens will actually cause a fuss and you may be able to hear that they're around. Um, a lot of people around here, because you know it's horse country and cattle country, they have livestock guardian dogs. Ooh, I went Yankee. Livestock guardian dogs. Um, two breeds that you see a lot around here are Antolian Shepherds, which is that guy right there. Oh, sorry, that guy right there. And, uh, or Great Pyrenees. Um, you have to be careful. If you introduce your flock into a, with, and you already have a livestock guardian dog, of course, they may eat your chickens because they're not familiar. Um, sometimes people get puppies when they get their chickens, and then they try to teach them not to eat the chickens, obviously. Um, problem with dogs is they like to play with things, so they may play, play with the chickens and not realize that they have accidentally beat them to death. Um, and then other animals kept near chickens. So, I mean, if anything that is, you know, frightening to a horse or a goat may also, you know, may also be out to eat a chicken. Um, so they may run or start hollering. So you may know to go outside. Something might be wrong. That way you can um, also stop it. Possible. Yes. And one I did not put up here because we're not about to get into the debate, but having a gun. If you own any kind of livestock and you have spent any kind of money. Um, I had 15 chickens and I never realized that a 15, 15 chickens would cost me so much money. Um, it's a big hit to lose them. Our girls were, are a month away from starting to lay. A month away. I have got these, I have I raised these girls for four months. They were one more month away from being ready to lay and I lost seven of them. So, you know, that's a, uh, it's pretty disheartening when you put your time and your money and your effort into it. Like I said, I also, my 18-month-old's heart got broken. So, uh, 
So guys, in conclusion, <laughs> with proper research and preparation, um, predators can be deterred with proper knowledge of which ones you may have in your area. Um, I actually stopped at the local produce stand in town, and she had said, oh, we, people have been saying they've been seeing foxes in town. And they, they see, they've seen more than they recently have. So they may have, have, they may have a family. Well, sure enough, a couple days later, chickens started to go missing. Um, and coop can be built to secure specifications. You can buy them online. You can buy them in the stores. We bought ours in the store. Um, now I'm on a rant rage to build my own uh, because I want it super protected. Um, and then flock protection also needs to be considered. I'm going to see if this video will work. I'm going to subject you guys to some cuteness if I can make it work.